Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we're playing another jank deck. Uh I've I've been in a jank deck mood lately. Uh but today uh it's a it's an ultimatum storm deck. Um and so the idea here is uh we have Genesis Ultimatum as a four of in the main board. Uh the idea is we can get to copy it with Thousand Year Storm. Um, my thing is, uh, and this is an interesting list, uh, because we don't really have a ton of things that we actually get to pull with Genesis Ultimatum other than lands and Uro. However, uh, what I'm noticing is Shock is really the winning piece. Uh, you essentially just get to copy a whole bunch of these little, you know, cheap guys, uh, maybe a Mythos of a Luna uh, to be able to, you know, copy something on the opponent's side of the field multiple times, and then you just Shock them and hopefully you get there. Uh, Myth Mythos of Aluna as well, though, can be a very, very strong card. So uh, this is also kind of our wing con. Genesis Ultimatum, not really the wing con, uh, is the takeaway. Uh, as far as the deck goes, you'll notice it's kind of just a bunch of ramp. Uh, we've got Adventurous Impulse to be able to pull out lands or Uro. Uh, we've got Shock here to kind of deal with some things and hopefully win us the game. Opt to draw us some cards. Growth Spiral to help us draw some cards as well as play out an extra land. Uro to help us draw some cards and play out an extra land. Uh, Storm's Wrath. Oh, excuse me. Hair in my mouth. Um, Storm's Wrath is a way to control the board, uh, deal with creatures and planeswalkers, which is great. And then, like I said, the rest of it is Mythos of I uh, uh, Luna. Excuse me. Hopefully copying it with Thousand Year Storm and getting a lot of creatures that way. Uh, or Genesis Ultimatum, again, mostly here to hit lands. Uh, we do run 26 lands, so it's a fairly high land count. <coughs> um... We've got the full set of Shocklands. We've got three forests, two mountains, and one island. Uh, the full four Ketria Triumph, and then four Fabled Passage. And that's it. That's the deck. It's very, very straightforward. I have play tested it uh, just once or twice, and it's, like, fine. It's it's kind of silly, but that's the goal. We're, we're going to have fun today. It's a Friday. We're just going to enjoy the day. Um, also, just want to mention, uh, we did live stream... Uh, for the first time in really a long, long time, uh, ooh, our frames just dipped, like massively dipped. Um, if this, yeah, we're, we're gonna concede out. Um, if the frame rates drop like that, I try and reset, uh, a little bit just because, um, usually it's dependent on who we're against. Um, but anyway, if you didn't, uh, if you didn't, if you're not in our discord or you didn't see on Instagram, we did go live for the first time in a long time yesterday uh, on twitch.tv slash itresolvesmtg. Uh, we need to get that link in the description below. It's probably not there yet. But uh, if you're interested, uh, please go over there. Check it out. Uh, the The stream is ported over to YouTube, so it is here as well. <clears throat> um, but uh, if you're interested in hanging out live with us, that's certainly a great way to do so. Um, we'll keep this and we'll try it. Frames are dropping a little bit here. We'll hopefully... There we go. We evened it out. All right. This isn't a great hand, but we do have the opt-in. Quite a bit of land. Uh, and Mythos of Iluna... I, I always want to say Iona. Um, Mythos of Iluna is very, very strong. Uh, granted, this is going to be a control deck, my guess is, at least. And so uh, we're, we're going to have a, a battle ahead of us, is what we will say. Uh Goodness, goodness. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I hope you're ready for the weekend. I am so excited for the weekend. Um, certainly planning to do a little bit of live streaming. Very excited to say we're going to be doing some live streaming because uh, that's not something that we've gotten to do very much of. Um, so it's kind of cool to be able to say, yeah, we'll be live. You can hang out with us. Um, we had a lot of fun. We did have a few people hang out with us uh, on that stream. It was about a, almost a two-hour stream. Uh, and we, we had a good time. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let's just do this. We'll do this first. Um, sure, we'll take that. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and grow Spiral here. Um, not really much reason to leave up mana, to be honest. And that's fine. If that's gonna eat a counter, then, you know, it is what it is. It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay. That does kind of hurt us uh, quite a bit, actually. Things like Uro are no longer good. Um, not bad, just obviously not as good. Uh, so let's do this. We don't get to draw a card, and that's fine. 
um, but we do get to play that. Um, and we'll just play this out here. So the idea here is if we can, it'd be great to be able to start copying these Uras with Mythos. Um, not sure if we'll get there or not. Um, they're leaving up Devin's veto here. Uh, this looks like we're just going to pass. One, two, three, one, two. So next turn, we could actually Genesis Ultimatum, but chances are it's probably not a good idea um, since they do have the Dovin's Veto. But I do think we kind of have to burn a counter at some point. Let's just go ahead and do this. 100% um, they're going to Dovin's Veto this. 100%. Yep. Um, makes a whole lot of sense. That's totally fine. We knew it, uh, but we needed to burn the counter at this point. Um, Adventurous Impulse. Let's kind of bait. Um, not that this is like a huge thing to, to really want to take, but let's do that. Um, we'll drop this now. Put the land on the battlefield. We're, we're playing a bit slowly. Um, trying to be a bit careful. Again, this is a control matchup, so we do have to be careful. Um, sure, that's fine. Very good. So I think this following turn is where we're going to at least attempt. Oh, do we just play this is my question. I'm going to try it. Okay, it lands. All right, well, that's what we wanted. Um, going to be a little challenging, though, from here on out. Uh, I'll be honest. Um, with this out on the field, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we'll get rid of Mythos here. The other option is we can just Genesis Ultimatum. Uh, oh my goodness, another Dovin's Veto. Sure. Maybe in this case we just Uro. Yeah, let's just Uro here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Leave the other Uro in the graveyard. They may have a counter for this, um, but they've got two Dovin's Vetoes, so it's going to be very difficult for us to get around some of these these things. That's fine. It's not great for us, but that's fine. Um, we'll just go ahead and escape another one. Uh, or, excuse me, uh, play another one. We don't get to draw the card, we know that, but let's be mana efficient. Let's play it. We gain three, so that's good. This uh, Ashiok really, really makes it difficult. We kind of need to, to be able to deal with that the same turn that we play stuff. Oh, not good, not good. Yeah. Chances are we're just going to lose here. Uh, with the double Dovin's Veto and most of our deck being very susceptible to Dovin's Veto, that's going to be a problem. Go ahead and do this. Um, let's get an island. This is about to get countered, but we do need to burn the counter at some point. Yep. Really didn't even have to. They could have just bounced with this and just left up the counter, but that's okay. I think either way, we're, we're pretty gone here. It did help us get a card in the graveyard, though, for <clears throat> an Uro. Uh, but the problem is they can just bounce the Uro and then, yeah. We'll see what we draw, but chances are we're just gonna just gonna kick the bucket here. Really, there's nothing we can draw because they do have this. Yep. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and concede. I don't think there's a single way we could pull that off. Um, like I said, this is a chank deck, so just keep that in mind. Um, it's a fun one though. Uh, we in play testing it a little bit. Uh, we did get. Uh, granted, it was against a bit of a slower deck, but uh, we did get a really, really nice win uh, with, like, what I will say is this this deck is very easy. It's it's a very easy one to deck yourself in, uh, which is funny because we were talking about that this morning in the Discord. So if you're not on the Discord, segue, check out the Discord. The link's down below. But 
uh, we were talking about decks and like, you know, a lot of times we get into positions where you start decking yourself and that's terrible and all that stuff, uh, which is just really funny because we were literally just talking about that. Um, hello, friend. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. We'll get our island. And next turn, we'll probably just grow spiral. Uh, let's pay two. That's actually a very good card um, in this matchup. We kind of just want them to play out a bunch of stuff and then we can Storm's Wrath. Yep. Ugh. Um, let's do this. Hopefully hit a land. Uh, and hopefully they can't power this thing up too much. Um, that's definitely the worry here. Okay, that's good. Um, it does give us access to Storm's Wrath next turn, uh, which is very, very nice. Um, but again, we do have to be very cognizant of this card. This is a problem, especially since it can be unblockable. Um, so here's my question to you guys as we... Uh, round out the week and are hopefully having a good time what are your weekend plans i know a lot of people are still kind of staying home and staying safe and i certainly you know think that that's the right call um but i'm betting they've got something here by the way god's willing sure had to try um but yeah what are your weekend plans do you have anything going on are you Chatting with the family, hanging with the family, uh, hanging with friends, doing anything like that. Um, certainly hope you have the opportunity to, to see somebody get out a little bit. Um, be safe, of course, but I'm just saying uh, it's been... I, I know for a lot of people it's been very, very frustrating to have been cooped up for this long. Um, and I, I mean, can certainly understand, but got to be safe, of course. Uh Oh, actually, crap. I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> Duh. Uh definitely should have kept that on top. Um we'll do this. That was a mistake. That's what's known as a misplay. Which there are a lot of those if you've ever watched our channel before. Uh yep. Next turn, I mean, we've got some options here. Um, most likely, we're if we can stay alive, we'll play Thousand Year Storm, but we do have to be, again, very careful here. Yep. Not good. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Sure. Um, let's actually attack first. Um, they can make all of their stuff unblockable. There's not a huge reason for us to leave up a row as a blocker. And we gain three life out of this, so I think it's worth it. Okay. Uh, we can do this, and then we can Adventurous Impulse, so let's do that. The other option is just to wait until next turn, actually. Um, maybe we wait. No, there's not really a ton that we get with Genesis Ultimatum. I kind of have to remember that, you know, as good as Genesis Ultimatum is, it's not really the the win card. Um, as much as I'd love it to be. Um, we don't have, like, tons of things that this really interacts with. 8, 9, 10. If they've got two more damage. Yeah, all right. Well done, opponent. All right, that's two losses. Can we get a win with this absolutely ridiculous deck? I kind of just want to see it do its thing. Um, that way you guys have the opportunity to see it. We can kind of talk through it. But we'll see if we can get there. I like playing jank decks, though. It's fun. I know we lose a lot. It's fine. I'm not even worried about it. Who cares? Um, I just like playing silly stuff. I think it's fun. Especially like Thousand Year Storm. Man, I haven't seen that card played in a while. Um, 
here's my challenge to all of you this weekend. Um, send me a Thousand Year Storm deck. Uh, and you can do that just on commenting down below, or uh, if you're on like our Discord, we've got our channel that you can put deck suggestions in. I want to see some very, very interesting Thousand Year Storm decks. Uh, I think that would be really, really fun. Um, hmm. Like, I don't think we can keep this, but it, we're going to try. We're going to try. It's probably bad. This is a Luris deck, so we're, we're up against a faster one, most likely. Um, so we do have to be kind of careful. Karn's Bastion. Huh. Another card I haven't seen in quite a while. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Scoured Barons. Okay. Uh, kind of glad we drew that shock, to be honest. Um, just so we can shock a thing if we need to. <laughs> Which I'm going to say we'll probably need to. Uh, we also just kind of need to get stuff into the graveyard at some point, but... Uh, let's do this, and we'll go ahead and Uro now. Nice that we have a guaranteed fourth land. And we get to gain a little bit of life here. That's good. Really curious as to what this deck is actually looking to do. Uh, proliferate deck. Let's just put the Ketria Triumph down. Doggo and Sidekick. I just realized the username. Love it. Love it, love it. <clears throat> Nothing from the opponent. Interesting. Really curious as to what they're doing. We'll just go ahead and do this here. Gets a card in our graveyard. Not a huge deal. We'll just get our blue. And we'll pass. Uh, as soon as given the opportunity, we will shock something, I'm guessing. Um, but, I mean, worth noting... Like I said, Shock is kind of a main course of action for this deck, so there is an opportunity for us to hold on to it now that we do have the Thousand Year Storm, uh, which we will be able to get out this turn. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. See what they want to do. Wow. Just despark it. Fair enough. You got it. Is this exile? It is, yeah, I thought so. Alright, well that was good on the opponent's end. Um you? It's just Genesis Ultimatum. Get a bunch of lands out. And we get to draw a couple cards. Uh that is the nice thing about Genesis Ultimatum is we do get to draw the remainder of the cards. So like it is just a solid card, but Okay. Hmm. Okay, so here's my thing. We can Mythos. We're just going to pay with this. Does that not work for us? During your turn. Ah, oh, that doesn't work for us. What? Well, we could just do it again. Um, Inner's tapped. And they get to fight. Choose a legendary. Um, this one. Because it's going to fight. Kind of sucked. Uh, that was a bad interaction. I was thinking we'd be able to play our shock from the graveyard. But I was wrong. Um, but at least we got rid of the Luris on their side. And now we can Storm's Wrath anything that they put down. Um, we also just have enough cards in the graveyard very soon to get Uro out, which will be nice. Um, should we just Genesis Ultimatum? Yeah, let's Genesis Ultimatum. We still have enough for Storm's Wrath. Um, nice. Very nice. Uh, whoops. Let's do this. Um, we'll take you. Play you tapped. And let's just Storm's Wrath now, only because we don't want them drawing a ton of extra cards off of that. Um, chances are they were going to, you know, enchant it up and then be able to do a whole bunch of cool stuff. 
these enchantment decks are sweet, um, but very, very fragile, we will say. Uh, if you can get the right cards out of the way, it's definitely a, a tough matchup. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and grow Spiral. See what we draw. Put you on the battlefield. Uh, let's arrow. I'm going to draw as many cards first and then probably just play an arrow. I think makes the most sense. Um, I don't know why they did that, but that's fine. <laughs> they didn't actually need to. Uh, let's do this. Miss. Wow. Okay. Let's do it again. Uh, ideally, it would be great to save these for like when we um, when we need uh, or when we have like a thousand year storm. But yeah. Let's just do it now. All right. Um, let's do it again. Cool. Let's see what the opponent wants to do. I'm sure they have an answer for this. That's fine. We've got like a million cards. Uh, or not a million. We've got enough cards to replay it though. Um, which is pretty crucial. Wow. They're just going to like double Myers grasp it. Wow. Okay. I mean, that's kind of fine. Um, let's attack in. <laughs> let's do this. Um, let's opt. Yeah, that's fine. Put that on the bottom. And we still get one. Um, I don't even know if we have any basic lands left. I kind of don't think we do. Um, nope. Fail to find. Uh, let's just do this. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll sacrifice this one. It's funny that they double enchanted it. <laughs> uh, we're going to keep this one. Um... We'll hold on to the shock. All right. Well, we're not really getting there on the thousand year storm thing, but um, we're in an interesting position here. Okay. Uh, let's attack first. We have so many lands, it's ridiculous. We could have like a D spark maybe. Ooh, sorry if you just heard that, by the way. Adobe Creative Cloud has updated. All right, let's do it. Let's see what we draw before we do anything else. Genesis Ultimatum. We do have to be very careful of, like, the number of cards in our deck right now. Uh, that is a bit of a worry with this deck. I mentioned, you know, you can very easily uh, deck yourself. It's a little tough uh, if you're... <laughs> in that position but hey we're gonna we're gonna go for it why not right we're playing jank today it's all about having some fun um and we get one card sure uh yeah we can do it again um not going to i don't think we can right ah screw it let's just do it i just want to hit another thousand year storm to be honest I don't even know. We've only got three in the deck. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Whoops. Let's play that out. We'll end the turn. And you. All right. We can probably just not draw cards. Okay, there we go. Uh, honestly, I'm a little surprised they didn't just try and force us to to deck like just continuously remove our stuff if they can and then obviously we're going to deck ourselves in at minimum 10 turns so but either way uh we did get at least one win so that's good uh this deck is silly uh to to kind of put some context we were just looking for a jank deck today again we play tested this one a little bit it's silly it's dumb but you know what it's fun and i think that's what um excuse me that's what really matters is 
you just gotta have some fun every once in a while. Um, we've been playing kind of on again, off again, a lot of jank decks, uh, and I like it. I like playing jank decks. I think they're more fun a lot of times than the like tier one decks because you get to learn new interactions and stuff. So um, anyway, regardless, we are gonna have a video too with this one, so please stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to check out all the links in the description, join our Discord, check out our website, uh, and check out our Patreon. We really would appreciate it. But until the next video, guys, I will see you then. Thanks for watching.